welcome. It is January 24th today. It's morning chores. We're gonna start the day off by chopping baleage, but I'm gonna lower down that thing there to help chop the baleage a little finer. there's now all them plates that are put down there they're just gonna help everything chop up a little finer and then it won't let the bale go through as easy so just like to chop up the bale it's nice and fine So, we have chopped three bales of baleage in this barn. As you can see, we really pack it into these far off dry cows and then it's not so many close up dry cows so they get less, but at the end there, probably gonna put a round bale there today as well, but yeah, that's chopping bales. So, yeah, it makes nice feed. I know I've shown it before, but Putting them things down didn't really help to chop it finer, but it did speed up chopping because I didn't have to worry about it plugging as much. Alright, so I worked on applying for college this morning. I'm practically done. Um, this afternoon we are going to siphon gas out of our van that is going to the scrapyard. So I picked up this. Here, it's really hard to see. I'll lay it out on the floor. I picked up this part of the siphon from a friend today. He suggested I put a pipe on the end, so I found this pipe. It just slides on, slides off. We're gonna put a clamp on it. I know it's hard to see, but we're gonna put a clamp on it and hold it in place so we can use it to siphon gas. All right, so we were unable to siphon gas out of the van tank. We could have done a few other things to get gas out of there, but it just wasn't worth it for us. But we got these parts for the harvester, they're hinges, to put a cover back on. So I'm probably not gonna work on that today, but I am gonna store them. I also had a meeting today about applying for college so I got my courses picked um, most likely I'm gonna be doing a mechanics program next year at school so yeah just one of them things that was I think a wise decision I really like and enjoy working with tools and yeah so once I there's the siphon we will check that off the list and then we will take the siphon apart and bring it back return it so obviously we haven't got a lot of stuff done off here but we will be done with applying for college and then tomorrow we're gonna clean out the heifer barn someone's coming to pick up an old lawnmower and then we will see what else we can get done all right so this is a list of cows that are due to calve. Um, we like to try and get them in what we call a close-up pen two weeks before they calve. So most of these are already in. But we are going to put in all the ones that are due to calve for the next month. So all the way to March 1st. 
So I'm going to write down the numbers. We're going to put them in that separate pen. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to put a tick beside all the ones that are already in the pen once we're done moving them. Alright, so we've gotten cows moved into the close-up pen. Not sure if you can read that, but that's my handwriting. I think there's 13 cows that are going to calve within the next 30 days. So, it's a good thing because we actually got empty stalls in the barn right now that we want milking cows to be on. So, And now this pen here is less crowded. So, wonderful. That cow right there, her name is Luna, if you're interested. And then we got Delinquent over there. I don't know all of their names, but I know quite a few of them. Alright, so I've just fed grain to these heifers. And I counted how many heifers there are in each pen. So there's 13 heifers in this pen and 18 head gates. There's 13 heifers in this pen. These are the breeding age heifers and 13 head gates. There are 13 close-up dry cows in this pen and 16 head gates. And then there are 19 far-off dry cows in this pen and 16 head gates. So this is the pen that we always got to make sure they have lots of food to eat because they can't all eat at the same time. All the other pens, we always make sure they got food too, but it's just more competitive outside. But they do have the whole pasture. There's a whole pasture behind this heifer barn and out back during the summer for them to go in. But still, they can still go in it during the winter, but they don't go to the very far back as much. See if you look. There's a forest way back there. They get the whole pasture up to there. And then we got this side here, up to the barns, is for the milking cows. So, but it's winter, so the cows don't like to go outside. So most of them stay in. All right, so it's after feeding now they're milking. I put a tick beside each one that's in the close-up pen. I wrote down the number of how many is in each pen. 